What's up everybody, Manon here. So something I've been wanting to talk about for quite a while now is the social media presence involved with the occult this day and age. So as many of you know, it is very easy to get yourself out there, so to speak, in the world today. Social media is very powerful and it gives a platform for people to express themselves that is available for anyone with a computer or a smartphone, unlike any other time in history. Nowadays, if you have a band, for instance, um, like a musical band, you can put yourself out there and make it in the music business, whereas 20 years ago, this was next to impossible without involving a record company and other very rich people to help you. The same thing can be said for any of the arts, regardless of what they are, videography, photography, painting, dance, theater, etc., etc. This is an amazing thing available to a lot of people. But unfortunately, just as things can be perceived as amazing, um, there's always a double-edged sword. At the same time these platforms can be helpful, they just as easily can be used as a platform for abuse, corruption, or any other of a plethora of negative influences to be rained upon unsuspecting viewers or attendees that happen to be engaged in the content. I'm also very active on Facebook and I belong to multiple Facebook groups and communities, if you so to speak, in which their subject matter involves witchcraft, paganism, or some sort of occult or metaphysical matter. Unfortunately, I've noticed that many of these Facebook groups, certainly not all, have placed rules and guidelines within their makeup as to set the standards for controlling any input by the group's members. Now, I'm not talking about rules such as being respectful to others and profanity and inappropriate, exploitable content or um, including links that are spam to sell or otherwise lead members down a path that has nothing to do with the subject of the Facebook community and you know the common sense logical rules to maintain a decent community. I'm talking about the rules that are placed to keep people like myself, educators and sharers of knowledge from being able to um, express an opinion or post something educational to the members of that particular community. For instance, it makes no sense to me why any Facebook community would ban educational content, whether a document or a video or an audio recording or a picture from being posted within their community. It seems that the administrators for these particular pages are very concerned about anyone sharing ideas um, and educational content that is outside of their opinions and personal agendas. I say that again, they are very concerned about anyone who shares content on an educational value and level with the members of their platforms in their community that is outside of their opinions. It's as if they are saying to their entire community, if it doesn't come from me, then you're not allowed to engage in it or learn from it. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that's pretty scary as well as very uh, cultish. In my opinion, anyone who is an administrator of a community on Facebook or any of these platforms where they have um, a community of peoples involved with them should be open-minded and accepting of other people's opinions as well as other people's contributions towards the possible enlightening and or educating of a particular subject, especially one that's about the community's subject matter and theme. For instance, why would any administrator for a witchcraft Facebook community deny a video, document, a recording, um, a theme of uh, you know a, a meme or a picture or anything that is there to educate the witchcraft community for the better? The only answer I can come up with is what I stated earlier, and that is their own ego and their loss of a monopolized activity of what is posted and being shared in their community. In other words, they want to control the content that's being displayed displayed to their community, and if it doesn't fit their agenda, then you can't do it. The way they see it is, my community should see things my way or no way at all. I'm the leader, they should listen to me and only me, as I am the all-knowing, and if someone else has an opinion, it better match mine or they're out of here. And even worse, it better not override me or be better than me or they're out of here. With this being said, it is their community. So they can do what they want and it is a free country. However, what a shame and what a disappointment for the members that do not get to engage in this content that could otherwise teach and share with them something they never knew and maybe even change their lives or give them a major aha moment in their journey with the occult. I can give you a for instance. I was on a Facebook community where I had posted 30 videos. I posted the last two videos, they got denied. I was like, what the heck's going on there? So I went and I talked to one of the administrators. She literally came back and said that the only reason I'm they're denying my video 
and the only reason they're denying it is because they felt the only reason I was posting my educational content was for views. If I was just doing this for views, I wouldn't put this kind of time and effort into my videos. You all know how much time and effort I put into these things. What am I getting out of it by getting views except for that the confidence and the um, knowing that I'm getting through to thousands of people and teaching them something. Hopefully these members of any of these toxic communities realize sooner than later their tunnel vision tactics and get um, out of there before any real damage is done. So moving forward, we're going to label these closed-minded, restrictive Facebook communities non-inclusive and the open-minded, non-restrictive educational Facebook communities inclusive. I myself, as many of you know, am a content creator and influencer who owns a YouTube channel that talks about pagan subjects and occult subjects of many types. The videos that I create are solely for educational purposes with a little bit of entertainment value included to keep things fun. I'd love for my educational videos to be seen by as many people as I can get out to in an effort to educate like-minded individuals on subjects of witchcraft, paganism, magic, and any other occult content that I happen to know about and am capable of sharing to the masses as well as receive input on new ideas and creative solutions to scenarios and learn from others. One of my ideas in getting my videos out to new viewers is to post my videos on Facebook groups that their subject matter is either witchcraft or some other sort of pagan um, subject matter. It's a great way to get educational information out to thousands of people, of fellow pagans, that otherwise may never have known about some of these ideas and methods. They don't have to go to my channel to watch the video and to, to, and to subscribe to my channel. It can all be done right there from that very Facebook community and even that very Facebook page. If someone did choose to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, then great, but that is not my goal in this situation. My goal is to get witchcraft and the subjects that are tied within paganism out to the masses, to share ideas, methods, and otherwise content that may have never been discovered without it being shared with others amongst these platforms and educate fellow like-minded pagans and hopefully even bring a new perspective of pagan practice to those who are not pagan. I don't do this for subscribers or views. I do it to educate the masses, period, and end of story. Another great thing about content sharing is that these inclusive platforms allow for people to ask questions and even get their own two cents on the subject and share their ideas in a, in a sense everyone is teaching everyone else. With this being said, to you, uninclusive Facebook communities. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm saying publicly, shame on you. For the admins who run Facebook pages are communities who do not allow for people to share content for educational purposes to the masses, who are otherwise not inclusive of educators and those who share ideas and methods. This is a very shady practice in my opinion. It only goes to show that you are a person who, in my opinion, is the exact platforms many of our seekers should be running from. Again, shame on you for creating a community of unsuspecting people and controlling or attempting to control what they learn, share, and experience for your own egotistical and narcissistic agendas. This being said, there are many Facebook communities that are witchcraft and pagan based that do allow for the sharing of content and knowledge from sources from other platforms. To these inclusive communities, I say thank you, bravo, you are a beacon of light in the darkness, especially for seekers and people just discovering their pagan journey. There are a number of these communities that I am a part of and that I share my content with along with many other pagan teachers and guides. I've decided that in the description of my videos, I'm going to start listing these communities as safe havens for the pagan community to visit and to become members of, knowing that they're safe from the clutches or claws of the uninclusive, controlling, and ego-driven pagan Facebook communities or groups. The inclusive groups allow for the education and sharing of content regardless of what what form it's in because they care about you and not about controlling you or manipulating you for their own egotistical and narcissistic purposes. So please look down in the description below where you'll find there are links to some of my favorite communities where you can find with confidence my educational content as well as many others so that you can learn, share, and engage in witchcraft and other pagan content freely without the worries of being misguided, mistreated,
mistreated or manipulated. Again, for the inclusive pagan-based Facebook communities that allow content to be shared, I commend you and 100% respect you for your openness and willingness to accept uh, the ideas and teachings from outside sources. And for the uninclusive pagan-based community Facebook pages who deny content creators a platform to share and educate the masses, there is no reason for this action except for your own personal egotistical and narcissistic gains and manipulation of others and what they ingest. I hope you eventually come to your senses and open the pathways for your community to learn and experience outside of your controlling and manipulated little bubble. Shame on you.